The heart of AFL lovers, certainly Sydney Swans fans, were broken today with Lance Franklin hanging up the boots. The star forward broke the news via social media with a calf injury in Saturday night's win against Essendon, forcing his immediate retirement. The record books will show three losing grand finals for the Swans, but Buddy was a fan favourite and priceless marketing magnet in a city where rugby league rules. Today, Swans coach John Longmire said it makes Franklin an all-time great. You go back and look at that, the look on his face when he was surrounded by 10, 20, 30,000 people. The legend becomes immortal. And that was someone that was just, just pure joy and, and relishing that moment. I remember being concerned about what was going to happen out there to our players and Lance in particular. But just the way he embraced that moment, I'm sure you all would have seen it, just the way he embraced it and wasn't fearful of it and, and soaked it all up um, was no doubt that'll be when he looks back on his footy career in 20, 30 years' time. That thing went global and that was, that'll be an absolute highlight, no doubt. Wonderful images. Patrick Stack hosts the ABC Sports Daily podcast and he joins us now uh, at the desk. The statistics alone make him a great, don't they? Yeah, I mean, it's an astonishing career when you consider 19 years, the longevity of it, 1,000 plus goals, two premierships, eight All-Australians. But let's dig in beyond the numbers because why Lance Franklin resonates with this goes well beyond what happened on the yeah. field, didn't it? He's a concoction of on-field and off-field. If you're the AFL, what an incredible story to sell. Indigenous kid from the regional uh, town of Dowran in Western Australia goes to Melbourne, scales the heights of the AFL, conquers all that is in front of him, only to then sort of throw it in with Hawthorne, move to Sydney and take on the Harbour City and do it with, you know, aplomb and success. And what's sort of interesting is you've got this dichotomy. You talk to people at the Swans about the on-field and on-field, off-field nature of Franklin. On-field, all the things that we've talked about, it's swagger, it's tats, it's incredible skills, it's death-defying goals, it's victory in the cru most crucial moments. Off-field, you know, he's shy, he's loyal, he's an Indigenous leader, he's at most at home with his family and friends and he's close in a circle. You mix all those things together, it's an entire intoxicating concoction that Swans fans couldn't get enough of. Chris, you're a Sydney Swans fan? Yes. Are you heartbroken? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Pour your heart out to me, my friend. Oh, look, I think the thing about Buddy Franklin is um, the best of the best as a player, uh, but as you've just said, also off the field, um, an icon and a legend and a, and a role model and all the things. And I think the thing about the Swans is... Um, you know, it's a tough, it's a tough city to get mm. a following in, um, but um, they do it with style and grace. And people like Buddy Franklin added to it in the most wonderful way. So there's a big, there's a, I mean, physically huge uh, gap to fill. Um, but you know, I think the beautiful thing about the Swans is that they keep delivering. Uh, Maggie, I'm told that you have a, a tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> because you, how would you contrast um, this woman? It's been absolutely some appalling treatment of First Nations uh, off uh, with a grand final win. Uh, if they could have hoiked him on their shoulders, yeah. but it, it, how will they send him out? Well, this is going to be the uh, sixty-four thousand dollar question. We don't know. He wasn't at his own press conference to farewell today, oh. which speaks to the reclusive nature of what he has been as a player in Sydney. You hit the nail on the head. The big question around legacy with the Sydney Swans is the, the great shame that he didn't win a premiership. But if you think about what he's achieved in terms of raising the game up in a state that is.